so guys welcome back to the channel cad comrade in today's video we are going to learn about car parking design in autocad in this particular video we are going to cover three main topics that are the norms of the indian government according to the nbc the spaces required for parking cars comparison of vertical horizontal and diagonal car parking so let's get started with the first the norms according to the indian government according to the nbc uh, for your kind of information nbc is national building code that every architect should follow even if he is a builder or a con contractor or any goddamn person in the industry you should know the nbc so let's get started with the first is in a residential area or a building one car parking should be provided per one dwelling unit so for one uh, for example for one flat one car parking is necessary according to the nbc so uh, so next question would be what it is in the office spaces so for the office spaces it is one car parking per 100 square meters of build up area so if you have like three offices uh, whose total build up area adds up to 500 square meters then the builder has to provide you three car parkings minimum three car parking according to the n and we see it is of course five car parkings but minimum should be three for shopping malls it is three car parking per 100 square meters of the build up area actually this is the reason that you you can see this big big car parkings and the highest revenue of shopping malls come from uh, the parking fees so uh, business is not a topic in this video so let's get back to architecture for hotels it is just one car parking per three rooms in a hotel i think which is fair enough and i don't think many people come by car to a, a hotel so yeah that is fair enough so let's go as the first topic is cleared let's get uh, there for the second topic of our video that is spaces required for car parking so basically uh domestic car parking uh like a domestic particular car will need 2.5 meters to 5 meters in line so 2.1 meter is equal to approximately 3.3 uh, uh, feet so let's say uh, 2.5 we have to do so 9 feet it and in width it has to be 5 meters which is So this much area of rectangle is required for a car parking which is 2.5 meters by 5 meters which is a regular car parking is required for oversized park uh, for oversized cars like a big SUV or something the required dimensions are uh, 3 by 6 which is 9 feet by 6 feet it's particularly bigger from the domestic cars but actually in general spaces i don't think any uh, goddamn ar architect or uh, builder pro provides this so i'm just going to take a block of my car which i'm using for from my well organized blocks right over here you should have this uh First of all, every architect should have his own personalized, well-organized blocks of uh, things that he uses. So let's say this is the car that I am using for car parking. So I will require a minimum space of 2.5 by 5 meters. So yeah, bingo. We passed the test. Our car fits in this area. So if you have a bigger car, then this is the space you'll require. But generally, this is only the one which is being used. So yeah, it is it. This is the thing that is going to be used. So let's get back. It's our second topic is over the spaces required is this. If you still don't remember, go back to the video and see it again. And the third, uh, third topic of the video is particularly the comparison of the types of parking that has been 
designed in a particular building or a space any joint anything it is like a vertical horizontal and diagonal parking so let's first start with uh, vertical parking so let's just use the same uh, let's make it a block I'll say car so as this is ready then let's check our vertical car parking how much does it come let's we'll just do off like six cars is enough so we'll do off six cars and what i have done right now here is you should not do you should just write array and uh copy as many uh things you want in autocad you should never do this so just gonna delete this last one let's do it with four cards now okay so as you can see this four cards has took up our area of i will match properties with the dimensions right over here which is 36 feet and let's see how much this guy has taken it is 15 feet so this is the one uh, type of car parking that is being used in the general spaces then let's talk about the horizontal car parking let's see the horizontal car parking we'll just rotate this thing right over here and just choose array so because of this it's not coming okay now it will come array just write number let's say six i want it right over here this is how you should copy the thing i did over here you should not do that so let's see what this type of design has taken up space it is We'll just match properties with the dimensions we want and it is 90 feet by 9 feet so as you can see this has taken 36 by 15 and this is taken 90 by 9 so this is the second type of uh, car parking that is being used in the in the industry right over here so now we'll rotate this here we are with our 45 degree angle of car parking so now let's see how much does this guy take up in parking so we're going to take this corner and uh, put it right over in the middle point of this with every So we are here with our diagonally 45 degree car parking so what we are going to do is we all will always have put on the ortho and then we'll just stretch one line from the other end and one line from this from uh, this end so what we'll do is we'll just gonna select this and we want this line to come on this line so for that we are going to take up this point okay we are going to select we are going to copy to copy this and just place it right over here and we are going to do array for that we'll have six cars everyone i want it right over here so this is where my diagonal car parking is coming to place so we'll take the highest dimensions that has been gone in this case which is oh this is also a big number oh it is 81 it's 81 feet almost just like a huge number 81 and let's see from this side it is it's 17 feet by 81 
so i think the diagonal parking is uh, a better option because here in 36 we are just getting four and here in 81 we are getting six car parkings so let me know in the comments below that which space do you think is the best suitable for a particular type of design because every design is unique and architecture is of course subject it's subject whatever the client whatever the design needs that is architecture so that was all for the video for summary we have covered three topics norms spaces and comparison so thank you for watching and share it with someone who may need it